I think this first game that I have queued up, Town actually does fine. I think um, the Imposters featuring yours truly got a little bit lucky in this one, but I thought it was interesting because there are a couple of self-reports and I wanted to talk about both of them. They are self-reports for very different reasons. So I think it's interesting to look at each of them. I know some people wonder when it's right to self-report and when it is wrong to self-report. And this game felt like a cool one to look at for that. Okay, cool. So the way this is going to work is it's not going to be finely polished or anything. I'm, I'm straight up doing this live. <laughs> But I'm going to play the video for us, talk about what's going on Whoops! <laughs> during the round. It didn't really work, did it? I've broken everything. Yeah, like I said, we're doing it live. Uh, <laughs> and then when we get to meetings, I'm going to sort of slow things down and take some notes on what's going on in the meeting and who's saying what and why different things are being saying. Saying? That's <laughs> not a word. <laughs> and, and all that. Um, I woke up recently, so maybe the first one will be a bit rough as I get into the swing of things, but uh, hopefully this will be fun. All right. So this is a game I played yesterday, and I played it with uh, the Dota stack with, like... Dumb dog. Oh, Tides was in this game as well. I need to adjust volume like a lot, probably. How am I going to do that? That's already at 100. This is at 23, but I don't really want to raise it. Try doing this. All right, so this event on Polis that goes from medbay to admin uh, with a stop in between, and actually you can leave it to the left to get outside here as well. This, uh, this event is insane. So what I just did was that I faked I was going into specimen at the start of the round and actually went through this event. And uh, like at least one person saw that I'd done that. Lights are also off at the moment. I think Honk called lights actually. And Coop is standing here. That is not on cameras. So I'm killing Coop. Coop is now dead. I'm still in specimen, as far as everybody else in the lobby is concerned. So I'm just straight up going to stand here. I'm not jumping on the admin panel because my kill cooldown is refreshing as long as I don't touch the admin panel. And now I have to decide whether I want to report that or not. So the story that I just told with that kill that round is that I went to medbay, I was seen by multiple people going into medbay, I left medbay to go into specimen, I went through specimen, I did one or two tasks in specimen, I went through the doors on the other side of specimen, I came out, I went to admin, and there was a body. And this self-report is, I think, like, very safe. I think this is a very good self-report. I don't think many people will be suspicious of this. Even if they think I was venting, I would have vented like 20 seconds ago, so I would have had to like kill and then stand around for 20 seconds and then report. It's just a, it's a very odd situation to read a self-report from someone, and that's why I like that. Coop's dead. Nah. Hollow I again? Get really? More or less hard clear Arca for this. I'm nah, clear for this one, all. bud. I wonder how the audio is gonna work. I might need headphones just to get a better ability to hear what people are saying. Let me grab them. All right, cool. So one other thing that I want to say about that kill is it also took long enough that there's far less ability for people to hard clear each other as town especially since honk didn't kill as well but even if honk had killed as well and there were two kills on the map 
if there are two kills on the map and it happens very quickly, then like anybody who's been next to other people for the entire round is going to be able to hard clear. And suddenly they're safe. But if there's one kill on the map, uh, you don't have anywhere near as much trouble. Another thing I think I should have pointed out but didn't is back here. I come into here, I check the admin panel. The admin panel is incredibly strong. This shows me so much information about what's going on in the round at the moment. So I see that four people are in lab, and I know that like one or two people saw me there, right? Uh, I'm alibied as going through specimen room, so that's what I'm going to say I'm doing. I see that one person's in office, so that kill is like pretty safe and not going to be discovered for a while unless someone comes down from lab or storage. See one person in storage, one person in electrical, and two people in O2. So I also know that my imposter friend is either in storage, that would be very that would be an odd place for my imposter friend to be. Probably in electrical or O2. And so I know that I'm not going to be framing her for this. And I I know that there's someone in office who's easy to kill. If I look at this panel and I see that six people are in lab, no one's in the middle of the map, and three people are on the left side, I might actually just vent back to lab and kill someone while the lights are off. I can do that, right? If I see someone's in weapons and nobody's in office or storage, I'll walk over to weapons to kill the person there. The admin panel gives me a huge amount of ability to plan out my kill, plan out my alibi, and generally control information about what's going on in the game. So the admin panel is something that I recommend pathing to as imposter or town um, early on in games on this map. It's just what you can do with this information is pretty ridiculous. Hey, holy psych ward, thanks so much for the seven months subbed. I appreciate that. All right, do I actually want to write down everything that gets said in the meeting? I don't know. Let's see. I think this is a bit of a meme meeting, actually, so there might not be much to say. It's not Draskal. Ah, shit. Where's the, the kill? kills on the common tasks by Vitals. Wait, if it's not me or Red, how do we win? <laughs> by Vitals? I get it. Um, so Connor thinks dodge, then. Yeah, it's not stopping, I don't think. Honk, are you the one I saw out there? We did Lyots, and you've also been the one in storage. Draskal, yeah, where are you in Apollo? We're in Specimen together. Yeah, we're in Specimen, okay. Yeah, that's I not. think I know who it is. Who is it? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think I know who it is, too. We meme a little bit I here. I think, I think we should all vote for who we think it is and get him out of here. Yeah, just, yeah. yeah. Just okay. double check where was the body. Actually, YOLO, actually, just do this for science. Everyone vote. <laughs> I'm almost 100% sure I know what this one is. Do you want to, like, talk about paths or something? Uh, <laughs> we each other, we so. All right. So, <laughs> it's actually a pretty instructive meeting, right? Apparently, this is who people thought the imposter was based on uh, based on the information that they gathered during the round. So zero people thought it was me. Dumb Dog has a hard read on Nile for some reason. Uh, Draskal thinks it's Arca. I don't know why. Scotch thinks it's Draskal. I don't know why. Probably because Coop's dead, actually. <laughs> and Tides and Arca are voting for Dumb Dog. So, if you can get a kill and there are, like, more than three people implicated by the kill, that's pretty impressive, I would say. And I think this is a, an incredibly clean kill, especially with 10 people alive in the lobby. It's hard to get super clean kills with 10 people alive because bodies get discovered very quickly and people see where you are around the map. Anyway. That's cool. Round two. Wow, I was certain too. Look, Wait, who, just do think, look, who do you think it is? Nile. No one talked about okay, who I might have so voted for Nile. <laughs> it was so fucking weird.
All right. So lights are called. We're hanging out in the middle of a bunch of people doing tasks, doing tasks, just like good crew members. Sopin's here. We're going back for our common task because we didn't do that earlier. People check that. We are now leaving again. Um, currently, I don't have plans for what sort of kill I'm going to make. I'm just going to have to improvise something. But I'm sort of building alibi at the moment. I'm doing tasks and vision of other people. I'm noticing where other people are as well. Thinking about who you might be able to frame for a kill based on who has been seen where. Stuff like that is pretty important. Hi. <laughs> All right. lucky. So what just happened there is I've just been seen in comms. I noticed that the camera light's on, and I'm like, okay. The person on cameras is typically a free kill. Because <laughs> you can just vent to cameras from two very accessible vents that, like, like four or five other people could have gone through these vents at any moment in the last five to ten seconds. So it's not, like, a kill that won't implicate me, because I've been seen in the area, but so have, like, four other people. So I vented up to camps to kill the person on cameras, and it was just honk, which is <laughs> a little bit... That's yeah. unlucky. You know. <laughs> anyway. Oh, my God. And now I've built up a large alibi on the bottom left side of the map. So I go up to medbay. I see Scudge presumably leaving decontam, but I think I was wrong. I'm going to kill Scudge. And then as soon as I kill Scudge, Tides comes out of decontam. So what happened here is that I read Scudge's movement up from where the doors of decontam are as leaving decontamination, which would mean that there were like a decontam cycle is 10 seconds or so. So there are going to be 10 seconds before someone comes in from that direction. And I didn't have any reason to believe that someone was following on my path from the left at all. And so because of that, I feel like this is a pretty clean kill, and the plan is to just vent out uh, back to admin-ish, be seen down in the bottom left again, and just claim that I never left the bottom left, basically, because nobody has seen me anywhere other than the bottom left. My imposter was on cams, so there are all sorts of reasons why this should work fairly well, and the body may not be discovered for a long time. But then Tides comes out of Specimen, and <laughs> very rapidly... And so I have to self-report here. There's like no other option. Because I have higher imposter vision range than crew has vision, Tides hasn't seen me yet. So I have to self-report. I have to do it now. Uh, and a few things have to go right for me here. One is I need no one to have been on vitals right at this moment, which is fairly likely. We've got two crew here. We saw like four crew. Um in the bottom left, so that's six players accounted for. There are two imposters, so there's only actually one crewmate who I haven't seen somewhat recently, unless the crewmates in the bottom left went to vitals. It's like fairly safe. Overall, I think this kill is still somewhat safe even as I press the report button. So. Yo, what up? Where that? This body is just below dropship. And then I lie. So, I don't want to place myself in med bay because, one, my alibi is that I'm in the bottom left the entire time, and I don't want people to know that I just booked it completely cross map without doing any tasks or anything at all. So, I'm lying that the body is about like two and a half screens further to the left than it is. Um, two, I'm pretty sure I know where everybody on the map is just about, and below the dropship is just not a high travel area at all, unless people are crossing from medbay to lights, but I just did that, and there was nobody in lights and nobody in medbay, so there's just not much reason at all to think that anybody's doing that. So this is a fairly safe lie on the body location. I'm saying it's below the dropship. Um, which isn't going to show up on the admin panel, so there's no reason for anyone to be looking at the admin panel and think that I'm lying about that. In general, there isn't much reason for people to suspect that I'm lying about where it is, 
there isn't much reason that people might think I'm being forced into a self-report. If I say that it's on the medbay scanner right now, though, like Tides is going to be like, oh, I was just walking toward that. It's probably a self-report, <laughs> and I'm dead. So this is a spot where I'm not only self-reporting, but I'm also lying about where the body is. The only problem with this lie about body location is I might implicate Honk because Honk was on cameras and left cameras, but I'm pretty sure she went down from cameras. So I'm hoping that she has been seen by people and isn't going to get voted off on eight. Eight's a scary number. Um, the way that voting works in this game is that if you ever reach a point where there are four crew and two imposters, imposters basically win, barring edge cases. And so when you're on seven with five crew and two imposters, it's very scary to vote because if you get it wrong, you lose. But when you're on eight, if you have someone who you're highly suspicious of, it's probably correct to be voting them off, even if you're not right 100% of the time. And so this is a bit of a scary voting round. I think it's more likely that Hunk gets killed in this round at the start of it than I do, unless I get caught lying here. But I don't think it's likely I get caught lighting. Anyway, let's see how it goes. It's like on the. George? Might be me. He'll Not never here. tell us. <laughs> That's what he's still. I'm doing. sorry. This body's toward the doors uh, below dropship, so outside med bay. I opened my oh. path first. I did garbage in O2. I finished water wheel. I went to weapons. I passed, I think. Everyone. Dumb pretty much everyone was there. there. Yeah. I did I did download. I went out of there. I passed Draskal, who was coming out of admin. I did the last water wheel, the one below it. Uh, then I went up to vitals. I checked vitals. No one was dead. I did card. I checked vitals. No one was dead. And then Honk, was... where did you come from? Okay. So we're at 70 seconds right now. So start of the meeting was uh, Pink forgets to unmute, which was not deliberate at all, but it did burn time, which was nice. And then lies about body location. And then black gives full path, and we're already down to 70 seconds in the meeting. As imposter here, a thing we very much want to be doing is burning time. I'm not someone who will ever yell over people, but if we are burning time on things that do not implicate myself or Honk, that is great for us in this meeting. Niall establishing that he couldn't have made the kill isn't actually that good. Um, that does implicate the people who aren't Niall and uh, myself and Honk are in that set. If we let every town member do that, we end up at a state where it's me and Honk pretty obviously, but town's not going to have long enough to do that. And also we can, you know, poke at things which might be inconsistent, point out that something can't be corroborated, point out that they could have gotten out of a room to kill at some point, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This is something that we do as imposter and as town because we, you know, it's not possible for all six of them to have a hard alibi right now. Just that's not how it works. Hey, Asha Mage, thanks for the eight months. I'm going to show to you too. Where I, I come did... from? No, huh? Oh, nice talking to me. Um, so I started the round. I did the card swipe. We got locked out of admin. So I went to Tesla. I passed Andy. I think he was doing like the volcano thing. I went to storage because I had to do the last half of the gas canister. I passed Scarge there. Because he started it after me in the first round. I went to cams because I was the one on cameras. Um, the doors got locked in lights again as well. And then I walked down. I passed you and then went to water wheel. Someone else passed me as well. Someone else came into O2 after That you. was... I just want to say, Honk is an imposter this game, right? And she just burned 30 seconds giving an incredibly detailed and, like, possible to corroborate story um including which tasks she, like this is a really good lie it's not i mean it's not even a lie right it, she's actually telling the truth other than the fact that you know she didn't do the tasks because she's imposter so they don't pop up the only thing i don't like about what she said is that she said that she saw scodge at storage and scodge is dead above storage so that's a little bit iffy um, that's likely to get her killed if anything gets her killed. Um, but yeah, it's like a good thing to spend some time saying, I think, hey, Max Combo, thanks for the 17 months subbed. 
I'm going to show to you too. Isn't going full ham with burning time with long story quite some hint of being an imposter? It certainly can be, especially if you start with irrelevant information. Like if someone asks you what were you doing just now, and then you start with the beginning of round one. Uh, <laughs> usually if someone does that, I'm like, okay, you're an imposter. But I don't, I mean, Honk Story wasn't so gratuitous as to sound like it was time-wasting. And Dumb Dog asked what her path was that day. And she gave it, so she's even directly answering the question she was asked. I think it's a very good round recap. The only problem is the implication uh, possibly implicates self at storage. But she volunteered the information as well. Um, it would have been possible for her to lie there and she didn't and she also established that she did that a long time ago so anybody who's been checking vitals at any point in the round is going to be able to say oh yeah well Draskal only died in the last like 10 seconds or so so uh honk was long gone i think it's yeah i think it's probably better to say that you saw Draskal there than to not say that you saw Draskal there so, uh -oh. oh i passed you like earlier but in not in ot portal? Someone else came in behind Dumb Dog at the end. Yeah, I was the one who well, entered O2 from the bottom at the very end. I was doing trash. Yeah, that was I, I don't think this is ever Draskal. Uh, Draskal is currently uh, in communications. He came in right as I left. Okay, so we're talking about where other people are. Uh, we've got in locations for white, yellow. Haven't really got in a location for red, but red is like placing himself in the lower left with a bunch of other people. No, I'm in. Uh, I'm in O2. I just in O2, right? Yeah, I'm in O2. Okay. So th this kill to me. Mm. I'm pretty sure I saw yellow in communications. I came oh, in for a second to I'm see who was in there, and I did too, but I left and I went O2. For me, Honk, Jorbs, and Nile are still sus. There, I. I there's a there's an enjoyable meme <laughs> in this group where with ten seconds left in the meeting, uh, Dumb Dog says that I am still sus, which is sort of fair. Uh, pink, black, and purple are suspicious. I think it's interesting that Tides slid through that entire meeting. Um, Cause Tides wasn't specimen, right? So Tides was one of the only people who wasn't grouped up. I don't know if someone saw Tides go into specimen or what, but I think something that I can do in this meeting is ask Tides where he was. And then when Tides says that he went through specimen, it's like, eh. <laughs> uh, that's like a fairly common lie, especially after everybody else in the meeting establishes that they were other places in the map. So I think that would have been a good question to ask. I'll give you that. No, me and Arca were in specimen in that round at the end. Oh, well, there you go. I think Arca is teal, so... That's not how you spell seconds. Uh, teal and Lime were in specimen together. Uh, Tides lies a little bit here, actually. He lies as town in a way that is favorable to him. He says that they were in specimen together at the end of the round, which we know isn't true. Tides was actually in med bay at the end of the round, but it's a simpler way of communicating the information that he has than saying I was in specimen with Arca and I just came out of the decontamination and I'm in med bay now. If he says I'm in med bay now, everyone's like, well, that's right next to the dropship. Um, if he says I was in specimen at the end of the round, that's technically lying, but it does communicate what he's trying to communicate in a faster way. So I think it's just a better thing to say. All right, cool. 
This, uh, I don't have Honk's perspective on this last round, but this last round is pretty sweet. Honk is calling lights. When my imposter friend calls lights and I was seen going, like, basically toward lights, I typically wander over and fix the lights, but I don't necessarily rush through it. Like, I, I waited for a bit to, uh, you know, let a crewmate come over first. I don't think that going for a kill there is a... I'm not muted? I don't think that going for a kill there is a great idea. I think that people did see me going up and also that other people may be grouped this kill though muted. <laughs> so tides are just standing here i i can go kill tides right now right if i want i probably should kill tides as quickly as possible if i'm going to because every second that i wait it's more likely that a crewmate passes here's my thinking here though i just walked from lights to weapons i didn't see anybody at all around the area. Also, lights was just called, which means that people likely started walking toward lights or something like that. And so they then walked back to tasks. So this is a time in the round where there isn't likely to be much traffic between tasks. If you think about lights, so lights gets called, lots of people leave their tasks to go toward lights. Lights gets fixed, lots of people move to do tasks. Then there are like five to ten seconds when they are doing those tasks and then they might start moving again so that isn't always foolproof or anything someone might ignore lights and just keep doing tasks for example that's something i regularly do but there is going to be more of a tendency for there to be little map movement between tasks about 10 seconds after lights are fixed because people go and start tasks then and they're stuck on tasks for a bit this is an okay time to go for a kill and get away with it i think i probably should have done it faster instead of later though anyway yeah i should have just done it faster and Draskal happens to be walking past. I get lucky here. Draskal decides not to... Uh, holy shit, holy shit. There's actually two things here. One, I get lucky that Draskal doesn't pop in. Two, I stop and stand still to close doors and then realize the camera light's on. <laughs> it looks super suspicious when you stand still on cameras. So right now I'm thinking, okay, I sort of have to kill Draskal before the meeting. Um... Because unless someone else's body gets discovered, Draskal's going to know that I was the one who killed Tides with some amount of certainty. And two, I might want to kill whoever was on cameras as well. Although, like, that can be Honk. Oh, and then, so smooth. <laughs> wow. It just turns out that Honk killed two people as well. So, GG Honk. Um, I think that game... It was like interesting to see how we got down to eight. I thought both of the kills were like fairly good, especially the first one. And then the like round of eight where we just both double kill is just an example of how quickly you can win once you're at eight with two imposters. All right. Ah, oh, <laughs> Anyway, I thought that game was sweet, and also there wasn't much analysis to do for it, really, other than talking about the two self-reports, so I figured it would be a good one. Does anybody have suggestions for other games we could look at? A lot of you have been watching the stream. I remember this one being super clean. We could look at my uh, round with Dumb Dog. The thing about playing as an imposter with Dumb Dog is that Dumb Dog is usually the person in charge of leading town in this group and also usually the person most able to be suspicious of me. <laughs> so when he is my imposter buddy, it's sort of free. You want to see Hiding from Hafu? That wasn't really a game worth like analyzing. That's a game worth clipping. But I'm not sure it's worth analysis. There was a thing you were confused about in this one. Okay, well, we can take a look at it. I'm not going to claim that I've played all of these games perfectly or anything. I'm sure that I'll find myself making lots of mistakes as I do this. That's one of the reasons it's interesting to me. Like, um, in that last game, 
I thought it was interesting that Draskal hadn't actually come out of Specimen. So that was something that I was just wrong about. And I also thought... Well, it was Scotch, sorry. It was Scotch who came out of Specimen. And I also thought it was interesting to note that I should have just immediately killed Tides when we were at Weapons, I think. Based on, based on all the stuff that I said about map movement and things. We already went over that. But those are two things that I personally took away from that game, so... That's useful for me. 